All right, so we have a lot of companies losing their minds recently, huh? Major AWS outage took down Fortnite, Alexa, Snapchat, and more. So for those of you who don't know, all alongside the East Coast, Amazon, um, specifically AWS, has completely crapped out. They have, it, it just straight up died. Now we have AWS or Amazon Web Services affecting a ton of, of platforms over the past 24 hours. So Fortnite just put out a tweet just a few hours ago of me recording this video. An outage affecting several services on the internet is also impacting Fortnite logins. Poor Timmy was not able to play Fortnite today, unfortunately. Roblox, the game that everyone knows and loves, uh, that one also went down as well. Mobile games like Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, they were all greatly affected in terms of latency, login issues, etc., etc. And the platforms mentioned here Snapchat, Venmo, Duolingo, like all of these platforms are affected all at once. Amazon Web Services outage shows internet users at mercy of too few providers, experts say. You can say that again. More than 2,000 companies worldwide have been affected, according to Down Detector. That's not just in this country, that's worldwide. These companies are not just games, they're also banks, they're IT companies, they're finance companies, they're just companies overall. Now, how did this happen? AWS and, and Microsoft Azure are two of the biggest cloud service providers um, that we have. Both of them combined are about 50% of the cloud infrastructure mar market share, or otherwise known as the IaaS, the infrastructure as a service. And AWS serves as the backbone of a lot of these services. It's why there's so many different kinds of platforms have gone down. And what infrastructure as a service allows any average company to do is to essentially host their services onto an Amazon server. That's what we like to call the cloud. Out, right. The benefit to this is it's generally it's a little more cost effective for those who can't afford a mega server to the scale that Amazon has, as well as the reliability. Amazon is generally known for having really reliable servers. Uh, today, they kind of broke that. And as the title in the Guardian article kind of pointed out, when you have too few services uh, on the market and one of them goes down, it affects literally everything. And if you think about it, it's not just the actual company services themselves that are affected. If you have a company that is using a service and that service is using Amazon, that company is indirectly affected. So the roots in this are really far spread. So within 24 hours, it looks like Amazon was actually able to mitigate this. And as I'm recording, I'm looking at this right now, the severity has just been resolved uh, at 3.53 Pacific um, for all of their services. So uh, apparently everything should be good now. That looks pretty good. I just find it crazy that we have yet another example as to a mega corporation that hosts half of like everything suddenly goes down and now everyone kind of witnesses the chaos that kind of ensues from this. Um, there's a lot of companies that have been affected here. Um, and at the MSP that I work at, uh, I've seen the brunt of it. It's pretty bad. Feel free to comment down below if you were a part of a company that was affected. I'm curious how. This kind of thing is scary. And I wonder if there's going to be a ripple effect for companies um, kind of moving away from Amazon or rather kind of spreading their, their cloud service um, infrastructure. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. I just wanted to cover this. That's about it. Peace.